Howdy everyone. Welcome to This Old Vegan. My name is Merlene Vassell and in this video I'm going to share with you what I did when I found a mouse in my house. Now I love animals but I don't invite mice to share my house with me. So I was pretty surprised one day when I came into my office and saw this little critter running around on my radiator. I believe that she came in through an open window and made her way down the curtain, but then she was unable to find her way back out. Now I have cats and I was really concerned that they would kill her. So I had to find a way to get her out of my home quickly. Fortunately, I already had a humane mouse trap. Years before, shortly after I had first moved into my house, I had an invasion by what I thought was one mouse, but it turned out to be many. One day while I was in my kitchen with the cat that I had at the time, Two-Face, and a little mouse was running around the kitchen floor. It was actually kind of funny because Two-Face was meowing at me, waiting for his food, and completely ignored the mouse. Anyway, at that time, I purchased a humane mouse trap, which I set out, and I also plugged some holes that were in the wall underneath my kitchen door, and that was what I thought was the end of it. I caught actually several mice and released them outdoors. So now, fast forward, several years and I'm in my office and I see Minnie Mouse running around on top of the radiator. So I went down to my basement, found the humane mouse trap and set it up with behind the radiator with the corner of a tortilla chip in there and you know waited. Eventually Minnie went into the mouse trap, got the tortilla chip, took it out, went somewhere and ate it and then came back for more. I set up the mouse trap a couple of times and she did the same thing. So I realized that um, she didn't weigh enough to trigger the mechanism to make the trap close. So I went and got a few coins and put them on the trigger mechanism along with the tortilla chip. Eventually she came back again to eat and this time the mouse trap caught her. There's a vacant lot nearby that is overgrown with, you know, it has trees and grass and so forth, which would be a suitable environment for a mouse, I assume. So I brought the trap there, released the mouse, and she went about her business. Now this may sound strange, but I always feel touched and actually a bit honored when an animal comes into my life and needs some kind of assistance and I'm able to help him or her go on about his or her life in a pleasant way, in a natural way. So I was actually very amused and happy that Minnie Mouse had come to visit me for a little while. So now I'm wondering, do you think that's crazy? And would you leave in the comments stories of any time that you were able to help or rescue an animal? Anyway, thank you for watching this video, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time.